Strong Mom channel. If you are new here, my name is Denise and I am a personal trainer and I specialize in pregnancy and postpartum and diastasis recti, aka how to get a flatter tummy after baby. So this video is a little bit different as it's not specific to pregnancy or postpartum or anything like that, but this video is pretty selfish. You guys ask me, how do I get my arms? Am I just doing working out with five pound weights? And the answer is no, I'm working out with heavy weights and I wanted to show you and bring you into my gym, my workout, my home and show you how I actually work my arms once or twice a week. So today we're gonna be going through, you guys work out with me, uh, we're gonna be going through my bicep and my tricep workout that I do at home. So grab your weights. I have five all the way up to 15 pounds and you'll see how I kind of move through each of them depending on my fatigue and my strength. So are you ready? You guys can keep your five pound weights and do this with me. All right, we're just gonna do a little warm up, warming up with arm circles. We're not gonna do any lower body, but hey, it's a warm up. So I like to use some step back side to side, little arm circles here and reverse those arm circles and bicep curl will bring it up and down. We're not doing too much shoulders today, mostly focusing on our biceps and our triceps. And yes, you need strong arms when you are a mom, for sure, carrying all that heavy baby stuff. Okay, and bring those arms out. Just a nice little squat here, flutter kicks. And let's get into some of those motions that we're gonna be doing for triceps. All right. All right, ladies, are you ready? So, I don't actually have my bench. This is not the gym that I work out in. I work out in my basement, but we can use a chair also. So we're gonna be doing single arm, bend over, tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna go with a 15 pound to start here. So if you don't want to do this on a chair, you can also do it on all fours. I'm going to be doing it on a chair and I'll show you next time around. So I'm going to be going through three sets. I'm going to be about 12 to 15 um, reps per set, okay? Let's do this. I'm gonna try and do three more. Woo! All right, other arm. And 15, Woo. All right, I don't take too much rest in between each set. I've got two more sets. I'm gonna show you how else you can do this. I'm gonna come onto the ground, onto all fours, and do the same thing. Let's see how many I can do with 15. I might need to switch down to a lower weight as my arms are getting a little bit fatigued here. All right, let's try for 15. Pounds. 
My other body parts are starting to take over because my triceps just can't keep up. So I'm starting to like um, uh, kind of grip in my back. So I know it's time to go with a lighter weight. I can't push through it because it's not the right body part that's working. It's the other body parts that are taking over. And I'm always making sure to drink almost this. Every morning I do my workout, I drink almost this whole, I think that's two liters, a liter and a half, two liters. So water is really important. Okay, last set for these tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna get out my 12 and my 10s because I don't think I'll be able to do it all. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do here. Woo! I'm gonna push it, the last three. Woo! All right, so I pushed it. So I was making sure that I am totally tired after I'm done. So if you are totally done at 12, keep it there. I'm going for 15.
So I'll work my biceps and triceps about just once a week together, just like we're doing right now. Um, I'll work shoulders and abs another day. I got booty and legs another day. Get my high intensity. How many days? Four, five. What am I missing? What body part am I missing? Oh, chest, back, of course. So I space them all out like this each day of the week. So I'm getting about five or six workouts in a week. And I'm not killing myself if I sleep in or I'm not getting it done because I'm busy with the kids at the park playing tag, biking around, walking a lot. So I'm still getting my workout even if I'm not lifting heavy. Okay, ah, what do we got? Bicep curls, okay, yeah, I can go, let's do 12 pounds. All right, so palms facing forward. I'm working for 12 to 15 again. So if you'll notice, when I'm doing my bicep curls, I'm not swinging my body like this, right? We don't want that. Cause then we're working the rest of our body. We want to work just our biceps. So do choose a weight where you're not swaying your body, swinging your body, creaking up your back, things like that.
See how slow I go on the way down? You don't want to just do this, okay?
No. Uh, and in four. Uh, okay, that's it. Woo. So guys, see how I do what I can do? Like I could not have pushed another tricep push-up out. And that's fine. Like my arms are exhausted. That's all right. I'm not gonna keep going with really crappy form because it's just, it's, it's a waste of your time, okay? So you wanna make sure that when you're doing those exercises that you're doing it in good form. As soon as you just throw your form out, grab lighter weights or just stop. Say, okay, I'm taking a rest or I'm on to the next exercise. Okay, last exercise, guys. This one, we're gonna use lighter weights. I'm gonna go with 10. Okay, so I said we're gonna work some shoulders in here, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, and triceps. We're new around the world, I love these ones. So palms facing forward, glutes up. You're gonna bring those hands together and we're gonna go into triceps for five. me and that's okay. <laughs> thanks for watching and thanks for learning. Guys, let me know if you have any questions below and of course if maybe you're, you want nice arms, maybe you want a flatter belly, I want you to click below and get my free flat belly after baby ebook with 10 holistic ways to get a flatter belly without extreme workouts, without dieting, and without surgery of course. All right, this is our last set. You guys ready? me. All right, so here's how we're going to stretch out our triceps. You're going to take one hand, give yourself a pat on the back, and then just stretching here. So when you're stretching triceps, you don't want to be flaring it like this. Keep your ribs down. I just want to be stretching out the tricep, nothing else. And like I said earlier, I like foam rolling much better for stretching. Um, it just works. Uh, <laughs> So much better, it helps with uh, reducing, minimizing that like really next 24, 48 hour painful feeling that you might have in your muscles. Like, oh, my arms are just sore. <laughs> All right, for biceps, I always come against a wall, back, or like windowsill, like door, something like that. And you're gonna place the back of your hand against, and then you're gonna turn your body 
in the opposite direction. Make sure that your top of your hand is against the wall because if it's your palm, then you're stretching out your chest and you want to be stretching out your bicep. And I'm gonna switch arms, do the same thing. So if I'm on the wall, right here. Thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next workout.